Hi guys, today we'll be just looking at um, um, how to hack your Nikon DSLR. The steps are actually quite simple. It's pr it's really just like one extra step on um, on your normal updating firmware. Uh, so you start off by going to the NikonHacker.com and you click on Board Index Firmware and the um, top thread should be the latest version so you click on that and it shows the change log and when you click online patch tool it should show this online uh, patching tool which has all the supported devices and firmware so um, make sure you check that your camera is supported and certain features are labeled as beta or alpha uh, use them with caution because they might stuff up your camera but um, in rare cases but um, those cases are extremely rare and the times that they do get um, bricked are often due to failure of the battery when they are um, updating the firmware so um, you may want to have a read at the forum before you update or ask a few questions if you're unsure so it, once you're sure about all the features that you wanted you want to find this firmware which you downloaded from your Nikon official website and that's this one so it should come in a, um, um, a extractable compressed file that you run and then it will make this folder for you and that uh, .bin file will be your original firmware it will be your uh, camera name and your firmware version so you select that mm -hmm. and then the um, online patch tool will automatically detect what camera and if it is supported it will show up this list and if it's not it will give you a warning so here I'll just select the 64 Mbps and those tweaks. So um, also with those higher bitrate patches, it will make your 1080p HQ, which is high quality in your camera settings, recording worse. What it really means is that um, the new higher quality setting in your camera will be changed to that 64 megabits per second um, data rate and your normal quality on your camera settings will have your old high quality setting which is your 20 megabits per second um, data rate uh, so you will no longer have your ultra low quality crappy um, video bit right so um, once you're ready um, and you've selected all your thing you click save firmware file and uh, I suggest you name it as patched whatever um, so you don't get confused if you save it in a um, different place or even the same place you can't really have the same name I have it already created so I'll just open that up and what you do is you just save your patched firmware onto your um, your camera SD card it doesn't have to be empty so and you want to rename that back to the original name um, here you just you want to just um, safely remove your card and you can simply just pop that into your camera So um, once you've removed your SD card from your camera, you want to just insert it or that could be a CF card if that's the only type of card it reads on your camera. So power it on 
go to your menus and you want to go to your setup menu and firmware version so it will have your firmware version shown here A and B and L um, I actually forgot what those actually mean but L is for lens profiles B is the version that you actually um that's the one that you see on the computer so you want to click update when ready it should go it should show your current version and your new version it doesn't have to be the same um, you can be updating your firmware with the patch as well or it might be downgrading as well so um, I'm not going to do that since I've already run it once it's done it will just say um, power off your camera um, setup is complete so you just power it off you power it back home and you can check your firmware version it should be the new one or it might be the same if you would um, you wasn't really updating your firmware but to really test it what I did was you want to go to your movie settings uh, movie quality you want to find your highest resolution um, with the high quality setting um, what you do is you simply take a video even like a few second one so I'm just gonna take a few second one just shooting my keyboard or my home phone yeah it's too close I can't really focus but that should do anyway so once that's done you can just close your camera take your card out and we'll go back onto the ca um, onto the computer so now that we're back on the computer you want to go back to DCIM your folder and you see that you have your file you can on a Mac you can download a software called video specs and you can just drag this in it will show you the um, bitrate but for Windows you can simply just go properties details and here it says data, bit, data rate total bitrate and I have here 61 megabits per second yeah of course um, videos usually it's not going to reach the maximum because sometimes data just doesn't reach that much because like there's not enough color or detail or whatever it is um, that just if you're getting something close to 64 that means the patch just works or um, whatever bitrate that you chose to um, to patch so once that's confirmed you can just delete that and yeah so also if you want to revert back to your official firmware you just do the same process with your official firmware here and um, one last reminder is that um, a lot of the people that have problems uh, breaking their camera they're using a third-party camera I mean third-party battery which may have um, a bad battery indicator that just cause camera to just die in the middle so you want to use a fully charged uh, original Nikon battery so yeah thank you for watching hope this helped you guys a lot um, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up thank you